In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a logo for your Shopify store on Canva. I'm gonna tell you how to do it specifically, but I'm also gonna give you some tips and tricks to making it look good. So it's very easy to get started. We're gonna go over to the Canva website here. I'm gonna click on Start Designing. Now we can sign up with obviously all these different accounts. It really depends what your needs are. I'm just gonna sign up with Google. Okay, and here we are. So when you sign up, it's gonna ask you if you want to try their sort of pro version. They'll give you a free trial of 30 days. You can do this if you want. They do have some very good templates. But if you're making a logo for Shopify, it's not necessary, to be honest. The reason I say this is because you can actually keep things very simple when you're designing your logo. Uh, it really doesn't actually make too much difference how good your logo is. But first of all, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna click on the create design button. And when we're creating the logo, we tend to want to make it as thin as possible. And when I say thin, I mean we don't want it to be tall, we want it to be like short and long. This is because it means that the top of your Shopify store is not going to be really thick. It means it'll be thin, which is really good for your conversion rate. It means that people can instantly see what your store is about, that kind of thing. So we're gonna start off by making it 500 by 500 pixels, and we're going to um, change it in a bit. So we're gonna change the uh, aspect ratio, whatever. Now, first of all, what we can do is we can use their templates. So depending on your niche, we can find um, a template. So let's say we're gonna type in dog logo. Let's say we have a dog brand. We can go ahead and we can find a logo. Now, what I was saying a minute ago about the, you don't want them to be tall, something like this, pet clinic, this is not gonna be ideal for a logo unless you have it very small. Something where it's a little bit um, longer and just has text and maybe a little logo on the side of it is much better. So let's scroll through here, see if there's any good options. Uh, something like this, Cat's Palace, that would be a good example. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this Cat's Palace for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this in here. And we might want to apply both of them because we will want to have a dark and a light option. So this is good. But this logo here, this little icon is a little bit too big. So we wanna make it you know, smaller, maybe even this small. We really don't want it to be too big. And there's something like this underneath, I would probably um, remove it for your main logo. We can add it for like other stuff, but for now we're gonna remove it. So what we wanna do now is we want to um, make these centered and then we can just resize it. And we'll just kinda of make it as big as we can. So like this. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Now down below, I've left a link to a completely free course slash case study, which shows you how I generated over 1.5 million pounds with my food e-commerce brand. I'm not gonna promise you overnight you'll be a wild success with this. I'm just gonna show you the raw information and the raw strategies I use specifically to build my brand. So it's really valuable information. And as I said, it's completely free. So you can go down below, click on the link and join it. And there we go, the logo's starting to look good. So we'll change the um, text in here. Let's just say, um, uh, you know, cat store, whatever you want to call it. You can just put your title in here. I generally like to keep the logos very simple. So I don't want to be having too many features. I don't want to have too many icons. I don't want to have too much going on. What I like to do and I find works quite well is you can play around with the colors. So if you've got two words here like cat store, we could have cat in black and we could have store in a different color. So we might wanna pick, um, you know, maybe something like this. We can go down here and they've got all these different colors, uh, colors you can choose from. So, you know, we could pick that. Generally we wanna to stick to two main colors. Now, if you're not sure which colors to use, you can go onto Google and there's a website called uh, colors I don't know how you spell it uh, I think it's like this this one here yeah so this is going to generate you a color palette and this is really really useful for basically finding colors that go together so you can explore trending palettes right now and these are ones that are trending which people are liking so this is a good indicator that these could be good so if we take a look at this one for example we could go ahead and we can have one color to be this, so let's say the first bit, we can make it this color. Just paste it in like that. And then the second bit, we can have it uh, a different color in here, so maybe we want it this one, or we could have it this one here, as like a bit of a contrast. 
So you can see the colors work really well together. They look really nice. Now, I wouldn't say this is necessarily the best color palette for a, a pet store. You know, pet stuff, you might want to use like greens, blues, um, that kind of stuff. Um, but it really depends on your specific store. But we can also change this logo here, the color of this. We could put this in this like uh, blue color or whatever it is. And we could drag it across there, just like that. So I'm gonna just make this bigger. And of course, you can spend a lot more time than this. So I would even potentially, I would potentially even remove this from it and just have it like this. Uh, but you could put this in here if you wanted to. So we'll just leave it in for now. I'll just drag it over here a tiny bit. And there we go. Now likewise, we can go ahead and we could change this one. We want to have a light mode color. So we want to have a um, logo for when the background is white and we want to have a logo logo for when the background is black so i'd probably recommend going ahead grabbing this here copying it pasting it into here and then just changing it so that it works on the black background so maybe we could put it like this we can change the cat here to white and that looks okay just so that we just need to have two different ones for different areas of the store so if we're happy with this we can go ahead we can share it and we can download it and just like this now the next step here what we want to do is we want to crop it you can crop in um, Canva but I think you need sort of their pro version so what I'm going to be using is Photoshop but you can also if you wanted to uh, do it without having to have some kind of editor like that the reason I'm using Photoshop as well is because I want to remove the backgrounds so that they're transparent backgrounds uh, as this will look better overall. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop and I'll show you once I'm inside. So here we are, we have our image one and our image two. And as I said, I'm just gonna go in. First of all, I'm gonna uh, just delete the background. I'm just selecting it with this magic wand tool. This will select everything of the same color. And I'm just deleting it there. And then what I'm gonna do from here, now you don't have to do this with the white one to be honest. Um, but what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to grab the crop tool, which is here. And I'm just going to make it as close to this as possible. Like this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to save that. And then I'd also do the same for this one here. Now, I'll give you an example of why you want to do this now, actually. So if we go back over to the Shopify store and we go and we change the uh, logo. If we go to theme settings, actually, and we change the logo here, we can select one we can add the image. All right, so this one here is the sort of thinner logo and we can just resize it to make it as big as possible like this, um, or we can make it a little bit smaller. Now I've got too many navigation items here, um, but if we were to go ahead and use a bigger logo, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the header section really big and we want it to be as thin as possible, especially on mobile. So if we go to mobile here, you're gonna see that it's actually very small. Whereas if we were to use the big logo that we had, um, I'll show you now. Um, if we were to go ahead and use, you know, this one where it's a lot taller, it's not going to look as good. Um, and you should be able to see, like, you see, look how much bigger that is. It's crazy bigger, it's like two times the size. So we want to make sure it's like this, just so it's as thin as possible and you can see it's so much easier to see the content on the page. This is sort of a CRO, which stands for conversion rate optimization. It's sort of like a CRO hack um, that you want to have as much on the page as possible. Um, so this is a really great way of, you know, aiding with that. And you can even make the, the logo smaller because it's not gonna be a huge point. You want it big enough so they can see, but you don't need it to be massive. You know what I mean? So this would be perfect to be honest. Um, that would be a great sort of size for it because you can see the content on the store. You've also got your favicon here, which you can change. And um, they also sometimes, depending on your theme, they will get you to have a, um, a white and a dark um, logo. So the dark logo will be for when you're hovering over things that are dark. So maybe on this one, a white, it would blend in. Um, 
So it's just, it's just for if the background goes transparent, basically. But there we go, that is how you make a logo on Canva for your Shopify store. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said down below, I've left a link to the completely free guide slash course slash case study about my 1.5 million pound food brand. Uh, it really just outlines the raw facts of e-commerce, you know, the truth, uh, even the ugly parts, and it just shows you exactly what you need to do if you want to go ahead and create an e-commerce brand. But go ahead, click the link, and you can join for free.